PC Perspective's coverage of the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by AMD and the second generation A-Series APUs. One of the big pushes at CES for NVIDIA, besides the uh, gaming device we saw Shield, is NVIDIA Grid. And this is actually a hardware technology and server technology that they're building to help facilitate the move to streaming gaming technology. In this case, we have uh, a TV hooked up to some mystery device through a, a USB controller. And you can see we have access to all these different PC games. This is a, the sample that, uh, app that they built. And if we go over here, you'll actually see I'm not sure if this is actually what's running them or a mock-up, but these are the servers that NVIDIA is actually building uh, that will then sell to resellers, sell to telcos to improve and uh, actually you know, start enabling streaming gaming. Now, the technology behind NVIDIA Grid is actually pretty impressive. What we have here are uh, actually uh, visual outputs of two of the servers that they're using. And each screen, each GPU actually renders three different instances of Street Fighter 4. It's not really a GPU intense game, but they wanted to obviously show uh, best case scenario here. And you can see they're running at frame rates in the 30s and in the 40s um, on the rendering side. But what's interesting here is what you can see in these statistics. Uh, they have these clients and they're, they're running at a static 30 frames per second or very, very close to 30 frames per second. And you can see the bit rates. Um, the benefit that NVIDIA says that grid technology has over other cloud gaming solutions is that they are doing the graphics rendering and the H.264 encoding on the same chip in real time at the same speed. So while all three of these can be rendered on a single GPU using a virtualization technology, they can actually render them, encode them in H.264, and send them out over network stream a little bit faster than anybody else's technology has been able to do. One of the other benefits of Grid and other streaming gaming technologies is that you'll be able to play games on basically anything with the screen. Here they have a MacBook, uh, MacBook Pro setup, and they're running uh, this NVIDIA Grid application, which is really just an example that they wrote. They don't, they're, they're still saying they're not actually getting into the actual service business. And what you can see here is you can play all these traditional PC games on, uh, on this Mac. So let's, we'll go ahead and try to start up Battlefield 3 here. And so the idea is on a MacBook, on the other side here, they have uh, tablets that they can play it on. You can play it on PCs. You can play it on phones, in theory. Anything that has a network connection, you'll be able to do the streaming gaming on. So uh, it's taking a little bit here to, to launch up. There it goes. So here we have our uh, esteemed colleague, Josh Walworth, demonstrating his Battlefield 3 skills uh, being played on a MacBook Pro. So that's NVIDIA Grid.